and didn't like wait to check if this was gonna have cold air. He just bounced and they were Ooh. like, oh. Let's go. So. Ooh. Mr. Let's Lama go, SC zero hat. A All right. One sub to Let's Bereaver roll. Underscore. We got some items to find today, man. How long did it take him to get geared with this barb? I mean, a bit because I haven't been 100% consistent. Big sassy boy. Thank you. I've been doing a lot of like other content things as well, so. Cedar stand. Oh my god, all right, I'll just, I'll just get that later, fine. No? 10 months, let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Slane. But definitely some time, you know? It, it takes a little bit to gear up one of these characters. It's not like the easiest gearing. Wagner, Slane, thank you. Hype train is close. Is my AC working now? No. They, like I said, they, they came over and they they put the refrigerant in, but they put it in the wrong AC unit. The wrong heat exchanger, so. I am uh, still without heat in my office in this upstairs. Unfortunate. Not using quick cast. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a quick cast guy. So they'll be back to try again on Monday. What day is it? Today is Thursday. Yeah, I mean, I doubt they'll, they'll come out tomorrow. So honestly, as much as I hate to do it. I can't, I can't do man versus stream if I don't have AC. It's 91 degrees up, upstairs. Got my pregnant wife downstairs telling me to go to, to bed. I have to week. give you my prime sub for the month first. Get those prime subs in to get us back to 2K. Mr. Llama Heart. <laughs> no punishments allowed, just Llama trying to survive the heat. Luda, do stay cool, Llama. Right. Just streaming for 12 hours is like deadly enough in this heat. I have to go downstairs to take breaks. Cosmic Hog with 700 bits. Law and Oil, cute name, for 18 months. And Pal Pura popping in with a big daddy 10 gifted subs. Wow. <sighs> Fresh meat. Love the llama. Happy Thanks, Stabby. Big train happening. Should I farm for a barb torch? Oh yeah, for sure. Stabby with that T2. Always love to you and little Andy. Tell her I say hi. Thank you, Slim. Yeah, go farm for the barb torch. I farm for mine. No. Love the grail time. Keep it rolling, Llama. Mwah. Thanks, Green Adventure. Dallas is high temps over a... I mean, Dallas has only been over a hundred. Exactly incredible. Dallas has been over a hundred for like... I don't know how many days straight now. It's been a lot. It's been hot. I mean, it's been like, not like 101. It's been like 105, 108. Itty bitty bit train for the overheating office fund. The itty bitty committee. Oh wait, we got it. Ah, no ding for chromatic. It is an R22 unit. It's an it's it's the old unit. I have two units, the upstairs and downstairs. My da my up downstairs is a new unit. My upstairs is a R22. So I need to get it replaced eventually. But 
I know, just I know. But I was hoping, you know, we could just put the refrigerant in for now and call it good. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not happy about it. The, ha the house came with an R22. Aw, thanks, Palkira. Of course. What's your on the road work? Also, thank you, JR Keeb, with the sub. Level 5 hype train is around the corner. Can we get there? Do you have a Twitch Prime subscription hanging out? What would you rather see? Us hit a level 5 hype train or Daddy Bezos fly off to space in another weirdly shaped rocket? That is my question to you. JR Keeb with five more gifted. Half of you are like, honestly, Daddy Bezos flying. That's okay. That's a nice little find. Uh, who has... There you are. Llama in space? Bro, space is Nothing like... Nothing wrong with a phallic rocket. Hmm? Maybe they'll stay there. Would be nice. Space is scary, man. Like, the ocean is scary, but space? Space puts the ocean to shame. Making me want to scrap my throw barb and start my own grail. Right? It's a lot of fun. Thank you, Besotted. And Crater Up. <laughs> oh, it's fine, JR. Kano, what's up? Uh, Kano, do you want to do a race? I, I mean, I meant to invite you. Sorry, it's been a lot going on. I'm like so behind on every single thing. August 12th? Does that sound right? August 13th? No. Hold on, it's on my desktop, I think. Maybe not. To do Ooh. list. Come on, Reach guys. out to players. Feed the August 13th. Find the llama ranch, not the Amazon open mouth smile. Stream in the evening now. Like I said, I'll explain everything in a second. Let me just. Uh... August 13th, MVS? No. August 13th. Something was already mentioned to you? What? Who mentioned something to you? Nobody has meant. This has been a hidden race. Is there another race going on? On that day? This is a. Hey! New item! Maybe this is different? I hope it's different. Can you check if that's also August 13th? Because I am planning on hosting a race August 13th. Hey, we hit the level 5 hype train. My goodness, y'all are amazing. There's the new item! Dong! I knew it was. Yum, 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 yum. This is what I actually was looking for for a long time. Thank you, for Cosmic. I was looking for this before I had the like chammed this because I was like this has cannot be frozen and 66 to life it's great this is this is the like belt that you use yeah. whatever new item love to see it and I, I doubt Giyami's face is new in fact I'm pretty darn sure it isn't uh, Trang Al's girth. Mm. 
Yeah, we've got four of those. Say it with me. Geome. Sorry. Geome's face. Uh, wait. What day is that? Let me look. Ah, crap. Hold on. Uh, August 13th. Son of a gun! You're right, Kano. No, I had another race I was gonna schedule. I forgot. Okay, let me go talk. Uh, hey. Okay, thank you for bringing that up. Gnome Spash. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. Your hands on the best condition? Well, rest your hand. Bezos paid for my sub, so give my bag to the chat. Really? Black hand key? I have two of them already. That would have been a fun one to pick up, though. Thanks, banana. I'm gonna return it right now. I can't do that, because if I do that, then everybody does it, and then there's way too many of them. <laughs> but that's a very kind thought. What up, Ryan? It's a, it's a personal. Everybody gets their own personal if they get there. Okay. Hello. That was big damage. Okay. So. Here are the updates. It's, it's been a wild one, all right? It's been a wild one. My dad had just had knee surgery, but he's not, he, he's having trouble afterwards. So he's back in the hospital right now. Um, just in the ER, like, I don't know, checking in on that. Um, yeah, it's, it's not about the PT, it's just other complication issues. Uh, my, so my mom is in with that. Uh, Moo Girl has COVID. So she's downstairs in the bedroom. And my upstairs air conditioning is broken. But I'm not going downstairs. Cause well, Moo Girl has COVID and is downstairs. So, it's really been a tough couple of days. <laughs> On top of, you know, it's like the headphones breaking and all whatever stuff, but that's all minor stuff. Um, yeah. She's got, we got her some, some pills today. Hopefully those will help. She's hanging in there like a trooper. But I'm trying to take care of her from afar, but then also, you know, avoid being around her. So I've had to kind of exist and sleep upstairs in the 90 degrees and stuff. And uh, I'm basically living upstairs and no AC in Texas right now. Ugh. 
Part of me is like, I'd rather go downstairs and sleep next to her and have COVID and air conditioning. I agree. Yeah. It's like, would I rather have COVID and AC or no COVID and no AC? Right now I've chosen the latter, but every day I debate that. Don't I have half a upstairs AC? Uh, now it, it may be kind of functioning on that half. We'll see. It wasn't before very well. So, you had flu worse than COVID? Bro, flu sucks. I don't know if you just had light flus or something. Also, COVID sucks. I had COVID before it was cool. AKA before it kind of came out, really. And uh, man, there was nothing scarier than like struggling breathing. Like, thank goodness, you know, now I'm vax and all this, and I feel better with that and Ooh. whatever. Mama, at this hour, what a nice treat. There were no vaccines at that time, and, and no knowledge of what it was. It was, uh, it was a scary time, man. I had a big panic attack over that. Yeah, I had, I had OG COVID. Thanks, see you in hell. Good to see you. That didn't dong, right? Um, what do I have in mind for this race? It's a gold race. You have to race through hell, but you have to pay a, a toll at every act. Ultra hardcore race. Yeah, I think we've I think they've worked off of that and are now back to event stuff more. And let them get there again. But yeah, it's been it's been tough for her, and she's a tough girl. Moon girl's a tough one, but she does have asthma and you know a little bit of a not quite as good of an immune system, so. No fun for her. So if you guys can send her some love, I'm sure she would appreciate it. It's been it's been a tough few days. <laughs> yeah, I did it, Grail. What's seventy three percent? Seventy three percent of items found.
She wanted to see mom. And like, I don't think dogs get COVID from people. Oh. But I don't know for sure. Whatever, thank you. Hey, new item. Let's go, baby! Storm shield! Everybody ready? Get your dong ready! Ready? Three, two, one! Bong! There it is. Look at the size of that storm shield. Mm, what a beaut. Hello. What a beaut. Good job, chat. Zoonotic, but in very specific and limited cases. Wait, what does that mean? What do you mean by very specific and limited cases? There are records of pet infection, but Tracksuit. Honestly, I should just take my clothes off and just do a put a little kitty pool there and just I don't know wear a bathing suit. It is hot. hot. <laughs> Only llamas coming soon at this rate. Where's that minion? I don't see him. I'm an inflatable pool stream. Yeah, I need to buy an inflatable pool. Ice cubes in my pants to cool off, honestly. That, that sounds nice. I would try it. I would try it. Cycling, gardening, what? Oh, that seems nice, actually. I like that. Ah! Oh, rare dimensional shard, curse you!
curse you. I've got a couple points in how. I, I honestly want to put a few more points into it. I've got four. Rare shard, I know. What up, three moth? But I mean, how it does boost the damage on Berserk, so you can run more there if you want. But I mean, this build right here works well enough. I'm happy with it. Could do a slight alteration, maybe. people you should see how many times people in my chat or YouTube videos are like Mr. Lamy you missed a unique right there and then it's always a rare they it feels like in D2R it's a little bit they're a little bit closer than in old D2 the colors are just a hair closer. Not a lot, just enough. Mm -mm -mm. Do you know where it is easy to distinguish them? Llama RPG, that's right. We haven't decided those colors yet. Uh, where's my boss? I'm telling you, man, I truly get more and more excited about that game every day. I hope it's actually fun. Like, there is a very real chance that it's not a fun game. You know? That's it. At least we tried. I do have the pay to win boss, that is true. I think that'll be fun at the very least. Having to beat him with your credit card. How many times can you swipe in a minute? Go, 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 go! The longer you leave your credit card in the system and it drains, the more you drain the life out of him. Thanks, Magic Sheep! Your AC also went out? Sorry. Llama RPG equals those old text-based Telnet games from back in the day. All the good stuff. No. A year and a half of Quake D2 content. Check your Prime subs, chat. It's worth taking money out of Daddy Bezos' pocket and supporting Llama. Thanks, gross. All funds currently go towards Mr. Llama's air conditioning and anything that Moo Girl needs for COVID. And then, later, Llama getting a new toilet. That's not a child's toilet.
What about chocolates for Papa Llama? Yeah, and whatever my dad needs, too. Gosh dang. Seriously, when it rains, it pours, man. Can you treat your COVID with Chipotle gift cards? I'd say yes. Gotta, gotta eat. I did buy a house. And nobody could have guessed this, but houses are expensive, man. Ooh. Anybody who was like, oh yeah, get a house, you'll you'll save so much more money than renting. Y'all are liars. I spend more money than rent every month on the dumbest things. I knew you were full of it, but man. You're extra full of it. Why can't you subscribe with Chipotle gift cards? You may actually be able to. You can subscribe with some gift cards. You can like... If you go to Twitch... Gift card subscriptions... No. Rent vs. Own. Um... Where is it? Uh, this is old, but... Maybe it's just under the more methods. But you used to be able to like subscribe with like a Best Buy, Best Buy gift card and things like that. Can I do TRs on console? No, I don't have any characters. Houses are a scam, man. Like, hey, the pool needs this. Hey, the air conditioning broke. You need to fix that. Hey, you need to fix this towel rack now. You need the showers not getting hot enough. The bubbles. Oh my god. That's gross with 10 gifted subs. Life is a scam, I feel it. I'm like, remember when I rented and I didn't have any of that? And then now, because the stupid housing market blew up, my city, the city is like, hey, you owe us so much more money. Your house appreciated a ton. Ew! I'm like, what? No, I can't appeal it. Because the house did appreciate a lot this year. Unfortunately, it appreciated prior to me buying it. Really got in at the wrong time. The problem is, if I contest it, it's gonna end up costing more in my county for some weird reason. I forget why. My county's got weird things they do. I have a nice house, AC aside. Oh, thank you. I think we have to for Wither String, right? Yeah. It's all right. It gets the job done, you know. Should have bought an orange from those very people. Don't you just walk in here with like five unread Discord messages from me and tell a bad dad joke? and act like you're just not ignoring all my messages. Don't you, how dare you? How dare you? My goodness. Acting like he ain't been avoiding my discords. True that radical. Only five? Probably more, I don't know. 
I said, after? Do you want to talk after? Are you free? Next day. Free to talk today? Next night. Free? Nope. I, I feel like a... Down. Like one of those... Basically me in middle school or high school trying to ask a girl out who clearly didn't want to date me Yeah, you up you out you out you up What's up? He's just not that into you. I think there is a movie for me to watch. I get the hint, I just don't want to accept it. Where's the bad boy down here? Oh, there he is. You'd reply to my DMs sometimes? Thank you. You just went camping. You've gone camping, come home, and gone camping again without answering my messages. <laughs> you just can't keep going camping to avoid me for the rest of time, Evo. Eventually, you're gonna have to talk to me. Ten though. Oof. Still a cool find. Dong. No, I was really hoping Ribcracker was a donger, but I do think we have it already. Two sixty nine. Eh, it's okay. But that's for work. This is work. Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. God, if those strength and life rolls could have hit. Oh. In a battle between you and Evo, I pick Evo. I mean, I still almost like it. Hundred five AR is really solid. I'll lose a little min damage, but I think it's worth. The one hundred five is is really nice. Now I think at minimum Llama could outrun Evo. Uh... 
Um, Help me! Hey Llama, I had an issue with the weather stripping around my front door. Do you know how much it cost me to have it replaced? Precisely zero dollars and zero cents. Uh -huh. You know why? Because I didn't buy a house in 2022. I rent. I save so much money. <sighs> Thanks. Well, gosh dang it, Eva. We just need a. When are you going camping? We just need a little, a little sit me down. Yeah, tumbal one. First time catching the stream. Welcome over, Chief. Happy to have you. Appreciate you being here. I gotta rent my house and never live in it. I'm renting my house for $10,000 a month. That way I can buy system for it. Ooh. A nighttime stream? Are you okay, Llama? No. It's it's been a lot. My AC is broken upstairs, but Moo Girl has COVID downstairs. So I'm stuck upstairs and trying to take care of her. And trying to deal with everything else. Hi to be any. Good to see you. Mama reunion day? Is that right here? That's all we're, we're missing. Mm -hmm. Hope this helps with the AC cheeky smiley face. Thank you, Trick. I mean, I paid three hundred something dollars for there to come and them to come and fill the wrong heat exchanger with coolant. You're in the same position? It's not a fun one. Yes? Was that my fault or theirs? That was their fault. Help me. Is there any plan for endgame maps or rifts for D2R? Not that we've heard of. But who knows what they're going to do in 2.5. Do we jump up to 74%? Let's go, baby. Yeah, I, I don't know how much end game they're pushing, planning any of that.
Detour needs end game. This is the end game. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. So beautiful. Are there things that could improve it? Sure. But I do fear for many as well, you know. Even stuff like PD2, which has a lot of cool stuff in it, I mean, you know, it's gone very beyond Diablo 2. No, Tim. Oh. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yes, it does. Like, how many players in the game? Sorry, that's my player character level. Yeah, P135 and 7 will have different key drop rates. is better than just two. I mean, I think a lot of people would. I think a lot of people enjoy it. I think it, you know, for me it's still, like, it does have a lot of great parts to it. I do think it's also gone a little, you know, wild. It's, it's gone beyond being just like a little clone of D2 and it's, you know, starting to really become its own game, which is great in it, you know, in its own way. Like, don't get me wrong. Thanks, Flightless. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. So yeah, when you when you play PD2, you don't feel like, oh, I'm playing Diablo 2 with a slight modification. It really starts to feel more like Media in Excel now, where you're like, okay, this game is a whole different game on, on its own. Who has the Might Aura? Yeah. I wish Detour had a mapping system. I mean, it could use some endgame-ish style of, of that nature. Shift at the PGA Tour. Hey, yeah. Can you get tickets to the cool things? You got any any tickets for Llama? Mostly Llama's dad. He's a big golf fan. My dad's been playing golf for 60 years. Oh, that's a nice time, Evo. You know it would be more fun to meet and discuss with somebody? He was there at the start, right? Why were you at that meeting, though? My setup is still just upstairs. Are you really? Let me come to your house and so you can help with. That would be amazing. Yeah, send me a DM, uh, Tim. 100%. I mean, 
Even if it's expensive, it, you know, it's kind of like getting tickets to the Masters things, right? Like, I, I sign up every year to try and get tickets for one of the days, but I never get selected in the lottery. But, I would, uh, spend a lot of money to help my dad get any sort of cool experience with golf because he just loves it so much whether it was something like that or play at some awesome course or uh, I, I don't know you know and i was trying to look up like playing at courses but all all those big courses are all like private courses and they're like you know five hundred thousand dollar membership fee or whatever that lottery is rigged. Yeah, I don't I don't believe that that lottery isn't rigged one bit. I have I sign up. I know my dad signs up. I know like all of his friends sign up. My mom, my brother, all of us signed up to trying every year. Not even like Monday practice round tickets. I, I don't think that there is. I think they 100% dish them out to their insurance guys or whoever exactly. What's the best city in Texas? You just moved to Houston? I mean, I like Dallas. I, I think you'll get different answers from different people, right? A lot of people say Austin. Um. Austin is kind of the like fun hip ooh, blue sacred armor fun hip town a little bit more to go do with all that stuff and if you like to like go out and things I think Austin is gonna be the best place probably um, Houston to me was always a little bit like trashier I don't want to like sound elitist saying it though, because people will be like, anybody from Houston will be like, oh, you Dallas people are such snobs. You know, which is probably fair. Dallas probably is a little snobbier. But, Houston has the best Vietnamese food of all the cities. I'll tell you that much. Oh, they got such good Vietnamese. Attention, maybe Tuesday we can chat. All right, Mar send me a calendar invite, Evo. I will work hard. Yeah, best pho, best banh mi, best shaking beef, everything. Dallas has really good Korean food. And probably good Japanese. I don't like a lot of Japanese food. I love sushi, but other than that, a lot, a lot of Japanese food I don't really like that much. We also have good Thai food, though. There's plenty of good stuff here. And there's it's not like there's bad Vietnamese food here. It's just like not... I haven't found anything like I had in Houston. Why Pit? There's new L L85 areas. It's still just a... Uh, amazing one. I mean, we could go to other areas, too. I'll probably end up, over the course of this grail, farming other places. I've had bad shaking beef, and it was very mediocre. And I've had good shaking beef, and it was, like, the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Very wide range. I live in Dallas. Good day. Blue Myrmidons, I know. We're striking out on all of those. All right, let me see if we have any dad updates. Got the IV. Waiting for a doctor to come back.
<sighs> Offline can spawn declone. Yep, just gotta sell one SOJ. We got our. That's why we farmed for SOJ for the like six hours or whatever it was to get it. But now we got another one. Got my AC fixed? Almost. Oh, rare sacred armor. Aya. Oh, dong for Colwins. I can't. Rare dimensional shard and rare uh, sacred armor today. Tough day for those misses. Right next to the war sword too. Offline's just a blast, man. Too many people have never really given it a, a fair shake and they just hate on it because they think they're superior because they play online. Which I understand, because for the first 10 years of my life, I also played online only and thought I was superior to single player because I could just hero edit items into the game in single player. And I like couldn't stop myself from doing that if I played it because I had to always win something. You know, it wasn't just about like having fun or whatever. But man, once you free yourself from the shackles of competition, you just play this game to enjoy it. Oh my god. Single player is like one of the best games I've ever played. So well built. And it just brings back so many of the things about Diablo 2 that are amazing, you know. Uh, it just highlights things like the itemization and all that stuff. Shows why it's beautiful. Makes it fun to find blood fist and stuff like that, you know? Oh. Getting myself all teared up. Just thinking about it. I wish, DB. This that first self-made enigma. Oh yeah. We've got our self-made enigma, grief, and infinity on this grail right now. And I'll have a fortitude soon enough. And we also have a self-made CTA and like, oh, it just feels so nice, you know? Every time you make it, you're just like, mm, you just get a nice sense of pride and accomplishment but not the one from you had to empty your wallet like you're on it. Nowadays. Yeah, I'll, I'll do grief too at some point. I still have to find a base for it. I do think I actually found a base if I'm not mistaken. I need to go check my... Real fast, I think I have a five open socket PB. No, that's a CS. Never mind. That's for my CTA rerolls later. First grief or CTA? Ooh, that's super nice. STSS. Trash, 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 trash. trash. No, not a ton, but I mean, you, you, phase blades are a oh, different weapon speed than crystal swords. Phase blades are minus 30. Crystal swords are what? 
zero, minus ten, something like that. Zero. So you want to roll it in a phase blade for that speed. Nice guy from the hammered in videos. Oh well. How are you? So many blue berserker axes today. It's our third one. I would take a unique one of those. sit on Diablo 4 hype. You know, with the rumors of the beta and stuff, I've, I've kind of thought to reevaluate that. I'd say I'm at a 5.5 out of 10 on the excitement. It's a little higher than I, I think I was for a small bit there. I know. 26%. Get that trash out of my face. Like, I think I was around at, a, at like a four level, but with the rumors of the beta and stuff, I think I've, I've gone up a little bit on it. I still have the biggest fear of monetization. That's still my biggest fear, is that it's going to be Lost Ark monetization. Ooh. Mr. Llama SC so. gifted a tier one sub to Sunny D Money. Shockingly low for someone who streams Diablo for a living. Mm. I mean, Lama I think SC that gives me more to Roy McNasty underscore God reason underscore maybe incarnate. to feel that way. Because I'm so invested in Diablo 2 and game styles and plays of this nature and things like that, that, you know, I, I have such knowledge of this and all the systems I like and don't like. And so, you know, I, I think it's like, okay, well, how much Diablo 3 is going to get added and how much of the things that I don't enjoy, how much or whatever. And, you know, I, I, I think it's legitimate fears. But, you know, I, I didn't like Diablo 3 and I didn't like Diablo Immortal, and those are the last two things that Blizzard has put out that are Diablo content. So... doesn't like bode well for my mind. I do think there is some interesting thoughts and ideas, but I also think there's still thoughts that, you know, and I'm not saying I'm correct, but thoughts about, you know, things like trading. A lot of people don't seem to like trading. They want items to be limited and stuff and trading to be limited, so you have to force out and go find everything yourself and stuff. And I'm not like that. I, I truly believe trading is such a, an important part of making the game a really awesome experience. And I'm once again, I'm not saying they're wrong, I'm just saying they're not right now. Uh, I'm not saying they're wrong, but it's a different opinion. ay Another blue Archon staff. You know. But I think it as well is because, 
and you know, it's, it's, even in its current form, I don't feel like it's horrible. I, I think a lot of people attribute trading to the idea of bots and stuff, but it's like people bot all over D3 as well. I, mean, I think people just bot everywhere regardless. Are you kidding me? Another one? Bro, that hurts. I don't like that. Failed set? No, failed sets are magic. Ugh, we just saw two of them. Wild. Yeah, chess has no trading, but there's tons of chess bots. Exactly, like... The pe people are just botting in anything they possibly can. It's just a natural thing. This game is I, I, I do think, but but I mean, again, I don't, I don't think the issue falls into the fact that trading exists, you know? Like, the two biggest things that I've heard of people that dislike trading are one, they don't like JSP, and two, because then they're like, you can just buy all your gear. And I don't like JSP either, so we're on the same page there. Um, and two is that it creates botting. And like I say, my first thought with botting is people are botting and things without trade all the time. I, and I, I don't think, you know, you, you blame this amazing system that brings so much joy just because, you know, of that. At the same time, you know, I, I think, okay, like, botting just needs to be tackled better. Instead, right? That's kind of my thoughts. Is have them go after botting more and faster and more often, whatever. Can be difficult though, you know? But anything with grinding has bots. World of, yeah, World of Tanks has no trading but has bots. Chess has no trading but has bots. I mean, uh, Diablo 3 has bots. And, like, uh, every, every single game really does have bots, it seems like. People just like botting. But, the, the second one with the JSP and stuff, I, I think, I think, and the, you know, JSP has really given people a bad taste of what trading actually is. Um, because, one, you can buy forum gold and then trade with it there and stuff, so that is a little bit like, okay, that does bring in pay to win. Uh, and it technically is against TOS, but Blizzard doesn't really do anything against it, so kind of gets allowed in that sense. Um, but at the same time, it's like, again, I, th I think going after that system and being more proactive and, you know, finding people that are using it, banning them there and stuff is a, a better solution. At the same time, I also think, um, like, again, pe people have got this terrible idea of what trading is from that as opposed to what trading used to be, which was run around looking in games, trading items and runes and finding value and doing all of that stuff, you know? Like, it was a ton of fun just hunting around looking for awesome stuff to go trade and try and build your character out that way and stuff like that. And some people didn't enjoy it. I really liked it. But if you didn't enjoy it, you could spend your time farming around instead, you know, and go farm the gear. So you can kind of get as much or as little you know, enjoyment as you want out of it, in a way. Yeah, just come in, what do you got, what do you want? You really had a lot of fun. And I do like the idea of having open trading on all the items, because again, I do think it really gives you that flexibility to do more. It's how I got my first wind force in D2. Same. Same, same, same. Like the whole trading, flipping items was a really fun mini game kind of to play. But like I say, I, I, I just, I think it opens stuff up because then, okay, I'm gonna be a torch farmer. 
And I'm gonna go farm torches and trade the torches off. And then it's like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to farm torches with my characters, but I can go farm other stuff. I think this is a new item. And, uh, you know, and then I'll trade for the torch. I'm gonna be a key farmer. I'm gonna be, uh, you know, go farm runes. I'm gonna farm rare items like this. I'm gonna go farm in Daryl and Mephisto and try and get as many shakos and trade those in the early ladders and oculuses and whatever stuff. So, like I say, it just, it just gave you... No dong? What? I really thought that was new. That's sad. Sad day. We're dongless. So, you know, it's like, if you make it so there's limit limited trade, or items like torch and stuff can't be traded, well... Okay, now I don't get to do, like, be the torch farmer, because, well, I need to go get my torch, so... Or, you know, I can't, like, do that other farm and then try and trade into it. And find the value where I think the value is, or whatever. You're just... Everybody has to go do everything, but then at the same time All the content has to be clearable by everything then kind of in a way, you know I mean, there's no way we don't have it, but just in case So to me, it's just Such a fun part of the game So I, I get a little sad at how many people dislike trading, but again, like I say, I think a lot of people have only seen, you know, like JSP trading, which e even still isn't the worst thing ever. I'd rather have trading exist and JSP exist than no trading exist and no JSP. Because, you know, one thing that it does do in a way, and again, I don't support it, but it does allow you for a game like D2 to create value on items that are so ridiculous or so far above, you know? Right, and I hate forum gold carrying over to new ladders. That's my biggest complaint about it. Is that it really, besides the, you know, add money in to get more form gold part. But besides that, I just hate that new ladders start off and, you know, the richest people can buy the John Burr and whatever and just get started fast and, you know, that whole system. Um, but, it's, you know, having, having a... Uh, a way for something to in Diablo 2 to really have a, a currency there, I, I think is is good, because that's one problem Diablo has. Gold is worthless, so there's not really a great currency, and at the same time you could say, okay, well we have high runes, and that is kind of our currency, and we have to fudge it around. But what happens when I find one of those super GG items that's worth, you know, 500 high runes? How do I value that item now in the game? That's so hard to do, you know? How do I trade that item in the game? I like can't. <laughs> it's 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 too hard. There's no way I can trade 500. And there's no good way to just you know you know, because, yeah, then it's like, what, do I try and find a buyer who has a 500 high runes in a game to trade for it? And it's never going to happen. So it really does make it difficult in Diablo 2 to be able to, you know, kind of get to that and get the value on it, find the person for it, etc. And I think this is where the idea of having a currency once again I'd love it to be like gold or something in the game itself that can value that item would be great if gold actually had value in this game then you could store your worth in gold yeah I read chat when I can 
And so then you could say, okay, well, this is worth, you know, this is worth 500 million gold. And we can't even hold that much gold in this game. But let's pretend like we can. You know. Then it's like, okay. Now we have, you know, an, an idea, though. Now we have that, that currency to store it in, and then there's less incentive, less need to push it off-site and all of that. Now people are, you know, probably bot farming to get gold, and then they're just trading for gold within the game on JSP. And, you know, that's going to be that, but... That's where, you know, I'd like to see Diablo 4 make some headway. That's something I'm aiming at with Llama RPG. Llama Quest is to make that important again. Make the in-game currency have value, so then you can look to, you know, use that as a store of value in there. said a lot of Immortal would be in Diablo 4? Who said that? that? Sounds like not a thing to say. Yeah, so comments like that always reset my excitement and keep it down some. They keep me, uh... <laughs> I hate that I have to pick these items up, but... Still have some of the dumbest items remaining. Yeah, I mean, you know, AAA games have gotten way too obsessed with the how to squeeze every last penny instead of make a game that's lasting fun. Very unfortunate, but it really is where it's at. But that's why we support indie developers and in games like Llama Quest. Clicker quest. For sure, see you, Crush.
Oh yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have fun. Like I say, the more every day, the more that happens with the game, the slight progress. It's not amazing. It's making crazy fast progress, but you know it's making progress. All that is. Uh, Fantastic. And once we get our meeting with Evo, oof, we'll be flying. there, man. That is actually something I'm looking into with Llama Quest right now. Is I'm considering building out uh, almost like a pure mage build. Game that I'm designing. Because um, before it's everything was based on gear. Just gear and you would have one spell. But the combat actually allows for someone to use like three spells if they want. Or two spells or blah 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 whatever. And so part of me was thinking it could be kind of fun to build in a uh mage build that maybe just uses like shields and spells could try like a wand here or there or something but could be an interesting that'll be something that I'll just have to play test with honestly I, I uh, balancing that would be really hard Hello, Grandfather! That's a TC-87 for us. That's what we're talking about. Give me that dong in chat! I'll, I'll have it up later. Let me kind of get to that stage. Would be like Brotato? I don't know what Brotato is. a new item. Ooh, baby. Grandfather, I say hello to you. 218. Mm. Such a beautiful item. It's really just so clean. I just love it so much. Yeah, 
that's when it saves the game. Looking moody tonight. It's a moody night. Part of me wants to do some llama RPG development right now. I was in the middle of making a battle scene. Rag, thank you. The weapon. Back in the day. Those print of ears. Maybe a 15er. I do want to have a balance of, you know, some night streaming here and there for people that don't get to watch during the day. That is something I, you know, have felt was slightly missing. But I also just want to get back into a little bit more of a groove of everything. Obviously right now is a terrible time to try and do that because everything happening but hopefully soon enough we'll be back in, in that better room. need the late night money to fix the AC it's true also it's a little bit cooler at night just a, a little bit Happening. Why is that so quiet? Hey, Lama, is tall set good for S Nova Sword? Why was that suddenly really quiet all of a sudden? I can't carry What in the world? I can't. Uh Tal said good for S Nova Source. Uh, it's probably okay for it. I don't think it's amazing, but I don't think it's like bad, you know. We got randomments. We'll figure stuff. Good day. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, Rag. Got my tracksuit on. That's right. But yeah, sorry, look at said before. Uh, my upstairs AC is broken, and my downstairs Moo Girl has COVID. And is living in the downstairs. So I'm living in the heat. <laughs> you know to pay for an AC member stream. 
Yeah, but then I would have to do the man vs. stream, which was supposed to be this weekend, upstairs while I don't have air conditioning. And also, I feel really bad with Moo Girl having COVID time. I want to be able to, like, go down and bring her, you know, make her soup and things like that when she's not feeling good. When she's hungry and needs things. Oh no, on the door. So just a just a bad week. Uh, no updates yet for my dad either, who's in the hospital right now as well. <sighs> this is this is my frustration. Face. I'm sorry if I'm moody tonight. A little bit frustrated. Too many things. Y'all know how life gets. Sick. And my throat is a tad bit sore. Ooh. Probably should test it in the day. David Vero, thank you. SEO. Yeah, Papa Lama had surgery today on his knee, and uh, they gave him a second IV. Okay, but he he's just having trouble. Coming out of it, I guess. I can't carry it. Um, everybody should stop talking about him and following him and listening to him and all of the people like him. Okay. That's my thoughts. Darn, I really thought I needed that. Yeah, it was just me. Riffin Horks. Thanks all. That you 
play Source to get the game. I mean, I played Source, Paladin, and Amazon. Or the three that I played until my Barb got the gear he needed. And I played Barb as well. Crescent Moon? It's the only one we need. Crescent Moon! Wow! Let's go, baby! Atmos Scarab. Oh, you're right. That was before I got rid of some of the hacked ones. So that wasn't one that I had then. It does read the memory. Whenever you identify an item, it saves your uh, character file. So it reads the character files. Or I guess not memory, it reads your character saves. Nice. That's a nice little surprise dong to wake up to. Wasn't expecting it. I thought we were crescent moon or busting. But no busting here. Big wins. Go baby. Yes, I, I am. Man vs. Stream, like I said, was gonna be this weekend, which was already the rescheduled time for it. But between AC and Moo Girl with COVID, uh, I am going to push it back one week. So whatever next weekend is. Otherwise, MVS this weekend is literally just Llama. Can he survive the heat for 24 hours? Or will he need to go downstairs? Get cold air and go outside. Go outside isn't. Outside is also hot. Punishment is just turn on the heater. <laughs> yeah, outside is also hot. I'll just have to go downstairs and wear my mask and stay far away from Moo Girl. Man versus heat versus COVID. That's I'm living it already. I'm already doing man versus stream. Crater up 43 gifted a tier one sub to Mr. Hobo 03. Thank you, Crater. You have it too? Sorry to hear. A lot of people have it right now. Same awards? What do you mean awards? Punishments? We've got those, yeah. Nice, Kratos. It's really nice. They are just beautiful. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, she does. Awards for chat, punishments for you. Yeah, I don't I, I don't ever see them as awards. Never uh never been something I've seen anything. Well depends on how you look at them. I look at them as punishments. That is that is the only way that I see them. <laughs> Awards. Uh, Infinity or Enigma, which did you choose? Uh, make yourself Enigma most of the time. Unless your main character is going to be a light source. Or a... Uh, lightning Fury's on. But if you're planning on doing another character or many characters or whatever it is, Enigma is just going to get you so much more value there. Because you're going to be able to just do a lot with that. Is Mavina's belt a new? Or not Mavina's. Um, Wilhelm's pride, yeah. Mavina's a shark skin. Let's go, baby. A little dong o'clock for us there. Good night, Morano. That's good. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's another set belt there. Can I queue up the dong song? That was it right there. Every time you hear the dong, it's the dong song. Did I ever play hardcore? Sure. Got yeah, lots of hardcore characters. It's just a lot of dongs right now, but just remember, soon enough, this list will be down under. We've got like, how many items are left? 131 dongs left to go. Something like that. So. That'll be over the course of who knows how many years. My last grail was like, what, three and a half years or something? Four years? See if I have S blade bone though. I don't know. I'm just gonna save it until I figure out that piece. Yeah, my second materials was on ladder. Yep, we'll see. Hopefully uh, soon. It'll be fun to at least get in and test it and see what's up, you know? Probably not. 
Doesn't hurt to check though. Six nine tried, it tried to get there. there and go to the smiter and uh, gear this is kind of all my recommendations so COH is my main one but duress treachery Lionheart I put as budgets I think any of those are good I'd say duress is probably the main one I would aim for like duress is really really nice You uh, don't have COH or something, but you can also look at even running something like a smoke if you really just need resistances. You know, depends how good your other gear is and where you're getting crushing blow and open wounds and all of this stuff from. There's a waste of time. Your res be minus 30. Uh, don't let your res be minus 30. Change, change gear up, do something so you don't have minus 30 res or you're not going to enjoy the game. It's going to be very, very rough. Um, you can, you can dump into, into that if you want. I'd say you probably are going to want those points into damage and stuff more likely though, but maybe you're just running something that's pretty thin on the skill points. Only thing you're missing. Uh, yeah, I, I'd look at duress then, or I guess it depends what your res are. If your res are good, don't go smoke. If your res are like 10, Fifteen, you know, smoke is pretty nice there. Until you get some other res charms and whatever stuff, and then duress is great. Treachery as well is a very solid option because it comes with resistance when you get faded, right? So zero. We have no Templar smites yet. This is only really day two of this Grail, I would say. Like, yes, this Grail has gone on for a few months now. But, you know, it's been a little bit, it's been very chill. Um, but also we haven't uh, 
had our like pit circuit up and running. So we've been running around doing, you know, just a lot of like farming to get gear, LK runs, and all that stuff. So it's it's you know not day two of the Grail overall, but I haven't been farming anywhere that's gonna drop Templar's might and that sort of stuff. Yeah, the 45 IAS from Treachery on top of the fade is pretty godly. I'm not nope. gonna lie. Yeah, when you when you start swinging that fast, you're gonna be like, okay, I don't want to ever go back. Even a little bit of speed is such a big difference. Oh my god, and a blue Caduceus as well. That's what? A blue Archon Staff, a blue Caduceus, a rare Sacred Armor, a blue Sacred Armor, th two rare Dimensional Shards, and... What else? I think a, I said a rare and a blue. There are Sacred Armors. Like one more. So many less trail. Wild. Wild, wild. And a partridge in a pear tree. You know what I'm talking about. You know what's up. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. I did not drop a failed Mangs. I dropped five, six failed set Archon stats. But I never dropped a fail unique because I wasn't farming in areas and killing monsters that would drop that. I mean, I guess I technically could have got it from, you know, one of the random monsters here or something. Is there anything I would have rather done on the speed to level 99? I mean, the best thing is I spent probably the first half of level 97 um, doing my like full runs of chaos and all that stuff. What I should have done is immediately just jumped into the boring Diablo strategy. That was just much faster. Maybe even slightly faster at level 96, sadly. Well, I'm not 100% certain on that. But at 97 it definitely was... So we could have gained a little time there. Otherwise, I'm extremely happy finishing second in that race because, once again, I took time to sleep and rest and all of that. They pushed much harder than I did. But it was all great, you know? I was very happy for him. And the tribute to Sully was really nice as well. Totally fine with uh, letting them take that. Is there anything it taught you? That's right. Yeah, I mean it's a terrible race to do. Highly uh, not recommended. You know it is recommended though. Exclamation mark Huel. This is something I've been drinking for. Seven months now? Six See months? I think seven months. Before I got a sponsorship for it. I was I was trying to get it because I, I liked it a lot. And they were like, okay, we can do that. Gymnasium, thank you. What are you doing? How's the AC? Not working. They filled the wrong one up. 
Is it protein? It's a full meal. I mean, you can get some protein stuff, but if you go check it out, it's really like full meal and a shake. Yeah, I, I have the Huel Black, which is higher protein. So you can probably just slip some powder into a shake if you're already doing one, but I mean it's it's pretty designed for you know just being full uh, full everything. I've not tried Soylent. Now I will tell you this: I like the chocolate. I like the vanilla the most, I think. The other flavors, I were a lot of them were too sweet for me. Like the Oreo and co or cookies and cream and whatever stuff. Too sweet for me. Didn't like them. So up there, I also and help do this. Ooh, let's go, baby. 36. Hey, Jamin, how you doing? So, I, uh, but yeah, it's something that it's just really good for someone like me who hates cooking and uh, hates morning time Ugh, another blue sacred armor jeez man getting killed on bases today just so many of them because i can just wake up fill the cup with water pour in some of that and then i'm good and it tastes fine i mean it's it's you know if you if you're somebody who's never had a powdered drink before, you'll probably be like, "Oh, this is you know not great." If you've had powdered drinks, protein drinks, shakes, any of that stuff before, you'll be like, "Yeah, this is." <laughs> do I like eating food or do I see food as fuel? Uh, I'm I'm in both camps because this is something that I was talking with Moo Girl about recently. She was like, "You only like food." as a fuel and nothing else. And I think she said that because of the fuel. Um, but I, I do enjoy a nice, I don't know, Don. I do enjoy, you know, like eating good sushi, eating good Korean food. And like, I enjoy food, but usually I only enjoy like one meal a day. I think that's the big thing. Maximum one meal a day. Ain't nobody got time to like sit down and prep and enjoy three meals in a day. You know? I've meal prepped plenty in my life. Oh yeah, and meal prepping's, you know, great. Just get all your basic stuff in there and it tastes fine or whatever, but Meals are just like so, so much work. Eating is so much work. You know? So it's like I can only eat so many times. Cause then I gotta do dishes, I gotta cook, I gotta prep, I gotta whatever. So, yeah, I like to just say, hey, I'm gonna, you know, I usually go out for dinner. There's a white Corona. Usually I go out for dinner. And then... Yeah. Lunch, breakfast. Just throw me a Huel drink, man. Don't make me... Don't make me have to go through the whole process. One thousand percent. <laughs> and it's also one of those things where it's like, you know, I, I think breakfast especially, it's hard to get nutrients in a lot of breakfasts. Like, if I go and actually get breakfast foods from places, it's just like carbs and sugar. 
Even if I'm at home, you know, I'd be making cereal or something like that. So much breakfast has so much carb and sugar in it that I feel like it's fun for like a Sunday brunch or something. You can do, you know, eggs and like you can you can do breakfast healthier. I just feel like more options are unhealthy on the breakfast menu. Hey, Emre. Okay, let's see. Hold on, dad update. His electro electrolytes were down. Um, okay. Nephilim is smoke, yeah. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. Takes five minutes to make a nice breakfast. See, but the problem is, I hate morning. Like, I don't know if, I can, if I've emphasized that enough. I am the biggest load of garbage that exists in the morning. I just, I can't get up well. I can't, I have zero energy. I feel like garbage. I have not, am I? You, you've seen me in the mornings before. I've, I'm just, I'm not even like, oh, I'm not a morning person. Because a lot of people, like, Moo Girl's like, I'm not a morning person. But she's still functional. <laughs> when I say I'm not a morning person, I'm like, no, 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 no. You, you seem to have failed to understand what I am saying here. I'm saying getting up to go and make a breakfast is the hardest thing ever. But I feel great at night. 2 a.m. I'm like, hey, you wanna go for a walk? That was one time, BYD. I just, you know, it's like, plus I hate cooking. I just don't like cooking in general. I don't get any of that joy out of it that everybody seems to get, or some people seem to get. So, it's just pain to me. Out of bed at 7.30, go for a run, come back and make breakfast. Look, every single night, I think to myself, oh man, I would love to wake up tomorrow morning, go for a run, come home, have a nice breakfast, and start streaming by like 9.30. I promise you, this is every single night that I go to bed. I have the grandest dreams for my morning. And then I wake up. And I feel like such a piece of garbage. My body is so awful that I want to do nothing except lay in bed for like three hours. And then eventually I force myself up around 11 maybe to go spend.
But man, I wish. I wish I could have it like that. I don't, like, I'd love to be a morning person. I think my life would be so much better. You say it's all practice, but I've practiced it before. It ain't. I'm sure it was for you, you know, somebody who it wasn't, it doesn't feel like me in the morning. I had to get up early for, I had to wake up for swim practice in high school. I would leave before 5 a.m. for that. Weightlifting in the springtime. I would leave at uh, 6.45 for that. I woke up for work for, you know, five, six years. Had to get there for 8 a.m. It's never been something that I've gotten used to, that's ever gotten better, that's been enjoyable. No. Instead, what happens is I show up at the office or wherever it is with the most bloodshot eyes in the world, feeling like complete trash, even if I went to bed at like 9 p.m. No matter how much sleep I got, I wake up looking like a piece of garbage and feeling like a piece of garbage for the next X hours. And the second, the second, that my body it can have time to sleep in or stay up a little later or whatever it is. It's like, oh, perfect. This is what we're going to do. This is what feels good. It, it doesn't care at all. Like, the best way I can describe it, because a lot of people fail to understand it, and it's usually those morning people who think that it's just so easy and for some reason they, you know, just have more willpower than you or whatever it is. Um, but the best way I can describe it, because usually with those people, what happens is at like 9.30 at night, they're like, oh, I'm so sleepy. I can't, I gotta, oh man, we gotta go, I gotta go to bed. Like, I'm so tired. And it's like, why don't you just hang out till three in the morning? It's easy, just practice it. And they're like, oh, I, I can't. Like, no, I gotta get to sleep. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel in the morning, okay? When it's you're like 10.30 or 9.30, whatever it is where you have that, I'm so exhausted, I need to go to sleep. That's my morning feel. Right there. And it doesn't, it doesn't change. I am naturally a night person. Like I say, I can be forcing myself to a morning person every day. And yet... The second that I can have, I switch over to being a night person, there's no like, I gotta practice getting back into it. My body's just like, cool, we'll stay up till 4 a.m. tonight. That sounds fine. I'm not tired. And like, wow, another one. Two in a day. So I know it's just like my natural body state. Natural body clock is to just run like this. Because it never feels good to wake up in the morning and it always feels good to stay up late. And if I try to go to bed, like I don't fall asleep either when I try to sleep. It takes me about an hour to fall asleep. Even if I go to bed at like 2.30 a.m. I'll still just lay there in bed for like an hour. My body takes so long to wind down. Oh, this monastery 
Yeah. It just nothing shuts down, but nothing boots up well either. <laughs> Once it's down, it's down. Do I avoid screens now before bed? I'd say usually. Depends the day and stuff. I have. What? I love the matrix. I have looked far and wide at ways to fall asleep better. And wake up better. Yeah, exactly. Probably has to do something in, in all of that. I think that plays a part of it. Dong! Let's go, baby! The Scursorous Visitor Taunt. <laughs> Beautiful. What a beauty. Alright, let's see if we can spell this right. Sounds right to me. a single okay there have been two days in my entire life where I have woken up ooh nice and felt good waking up that's a new item let's get your dongs in chat everybody get them ready I can't even remember what they were I don't think it was like crazy specific events or anything I think it was just... I, I, I don't know. The, the, something aligned perfectly. Dong. Another nice little find. many times before, but is there a good reason to run the pit instead of one of the other level 85 areas? Pit has a lot of monsters, and has a second level, and I like the monsters kind of in here a little bit. Be nice. But the second level gives you a bonus, you know, two to three usually, so it really adds a lot. Yeah, it can help a little bit there. I try to be more lax on that, but it doesn't help my sleep. But like I say, uh, I'll probably end up checking out another uh, area. Ring. Wait, 
What? Let's see it. Carrion. Sony Tomb is a fun one, though. I do feel the mobs are a little bit. Uh, well, I don't have perfect res right now. So they're a little bit spicier because of that. I need to sack a little bit more on it. love if one day I could wake up or just many days I could wake up and feel like I do at nighttime I would be so happy because when I'm when I'm going to sleep I have the most energy of the day I feel the best I have the most like I have all these great thoughts about stuff I want to do how I want to wake up the next day and get started and do some coding and do whatever and I'm like all ready to do stuff but I have to sleep but as soon as I wake up, it doesn't happen. I feel the complete opposite. Hey, Mariah. How you doing? Part of me wants to get do like a sleep study test thing. Maybe I have sleep apnea or something. I don't know. Do a sleeping stream. You guys can check and see if I'm not breathing. Delayed sleep phase syndrome. What's the cure? I just sleep on EU servers. That's always the answer, Mallard.
the book. It's, it's an okay book. I think it was... I was already living with that style of like... too much about others' opinions. Have I ever tried hypnosis for sleeping? So, I mean, I listened to, uh... Uh, you know, dude who kind of does, like, a hypnosis thingy. He can, he can kind of put me to sleep sometimes. So that's that can help me sometimes get my mind off of it. It doesn't always work, but... I do feel I've gotten slightly better at going to sleep and falling asleep. I s the bigger issue I have is still just the mornings. I just do not... I just feel so... I feel sick to my stomach in the morning. Like, I feel exhausted. My body aches. Like, I just... I do not feel good any morning. So... I need a hypnosis for waking up, not going to sleep. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. No? Hi Llama, I've been watching your old videos. I miss the neck emote. But the neck emote still exists. He's bacon. That's the other thing. Darcy was also sick. Already got it, so nothing new. Mientras duermes. What? Why well, would watching that? Wait, what? I guess I should identify it just to make sure. I'm confused. I can't carry Never free. nice if you could battle orders in town. Agreed. It's a good idea, Sindagi. I'm sure Moo Girl, Moo Girl would recommend it. Running my first Sork in TK is my new fav skill. 
right. Oh, this is a gorgeous skill. Today has been probably a tiny bit unlucky, it feels like, with drops. But we've also got, like, Natalia's Mark and the Grandfather and stuff. I just feel like of the rare sacred armors and dimensional shards and all of that stuff, like... One of those really nice ones could have hit for us. As of right now, Grandfather is the best drop, which isn't bad. I mean, it's not a bad day to rock around a TC-87 there. Let's go! I thought we might have had one. Little Mesher Schmitz Reaver. Very nice. So we like to see everybody. Hooray to see. Not like epidemics or anything, no. Another goal rune from the same spot we got it last time. It's a goal city right there. Ugh, oh, rare spire helm. Sound. 
probably already had it. times I don't actually care that much about loot filters, even in like Cows Players 8 or um, Travancore, like, you know, I'm like, usually I feel pretty fine with it. I'm not gonna lie, pit running on the Zerker makes me kind of want a loot filter. <laughs> Just like slightly, I'm like, just keeps going. Oh. Yeah, clearing gold helps. No dongs, right? Pretty sure I have steel driver. something. Alright, well, my throat's sore, but I'm still negative. <clears throat> but my throat is more sore than I would normally expect. Looks like we're hanging out upstairs for longer. Ooh. No dong for Hellmouths, really? Yeah, I know. Sore throat's the new symptom for COVID. I mean, Moo Girl had a really sore throat. And she's got it. Yeah, that was a perfect test. The third one I've taken. Four days. Try to not fully built out then. It is amazingly fun and strong. Dang pork. But it isn't a symptom anymore. I mean, it, you're not wrong, but the latest BA5 or whatever the heck it is, I think it's like another variant of uh, Omicron. Sore throat is like the main symptom. Don't 
Dang, Lily. Yeah, she's just got fever, sore throat, all of that. Content Lana. Thanks, Beachy. Still a fan of a geared out frenzy barb? Me too. I love geared frenzy barb so much. Always be on late. And then I started dating Moo Girl and a little bit before that even. I I tried to shift more towards normal hours. So I could have evenings to spend with people. But I like nighttime streaming. It's comfy, you know. Bezos bucks. What? Never forget your free Bezos bucks. That's the most important thing. Always remember, you get five bucks a month to spend somewhere. On Twitch. Exactly. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. No, I just stream full time now. Oh. Angelo and Alectoid both with the prime. Kildren coming in with their sub. Oh. So many map levels. What is normal anymore? Truth. Do one of those days where we just go farm normal and Daryl, normal Mephisto, whatever. Knock out a lot of them just to clear the list up some. So I don't have to think about it as much. I mean, yeah, D2R's graphics are honestly amazing. Such an improvement. Probably have iron felt. Ooh, a face blade. One. I believed in you. Cursed archers, man. They do. They do the damage. I've made a. Decent low level dueler before. I wouldn't say like crazy GG, but you know, stacked up with some decent gear. Well, 
so hard to hear me over game sound, really? What? No way. Probably, I'm just a little far away from the mic. I probably just had to scoot closer. Come this way. Normal cow king for a few hours. That's a good way to get a lot of the stuff. I mean, I'm gonna have to run that anyways, because I'm gonna need the... the cow king's pieces, so... I loved 108, 109 around, around there. That was, a, that was a really fun time in Diablo 2. No, the stamina potion do not going to have any correlation to your magic find. <laughs> nice kid. I feel like I have that, but maybe I don't have it here. Maybe that was online, I found it. of it was great. That's what I'm really going to aim for with Llama Quest, is try and get back to the days of variety in King. Metas will always kind of shake out, but... GG rares, man. It's the good stuff. <laughs> 